Because of quarantine, libraries and bookstores are closed, so with the little libraries, they're still able to get a book. No matter what circumstances or chaos is going all around us, we're still a neighborhood, we're still a community, and it's bringing so much joy to families, and it's a blessing to be part of that. Reading Heart's mission is to make sure that every kid has a book in their hands. And so our goal is just that, to make sure that we are able to get a book to every kid. We're getting our little libraries from the Fresno Bee. They are donating their old Fresno Bee bins that they used to put the newspapers in. And we are giving them out to people in our community and they're decorating them in these amazing ways. And what we're gonna do is that we are going to place them in different neighborhoods and different, and like even in schools, and kids are able to go and get a book from them or leave a book. I've tried to do your do-it-yourself ones and they've become garden decorations in the backyard. <laughs> and I pretty much let my boys choose what they wanted as a library and they both were like a robot mom, a robot tin man. What's special about this box is a lot of little pieces came from my in-laws and then my sixth grade teacher helped me make my heart and gave me little gadgets um, to put on my box. Well at first I was thinking it was going to be more simple but when I, when, I, when I saw that things were more extravagant my mind was amazed by everything. Being able to indirectly work with children still in a way where they can maybe pick a book that maybe teaches them something, teaches them how to bounce back from something in their life. I've received several notes from even adults that have picked a book from here that they weren't expecting and leave me a little note of how the book impacted their life. And so, you know, that's priceless. My prayer was to be a blessing to my community. My community has been, I believe, more of a blessing to me. It's such a joy looking out my window and seeing families here, seeing grandparents with their grandchildren. Words can't express how special it's been and a blessing it's been for me. There are some kids that don't have as much access to libraries or bookstores, and some kids don't have any books at home. And with, because of quarantine, libraries and bookstores are closed, so with the little libraries, they're still able to get a book. It makes me feel happy because now everybody has their own book that they can read or they can share a book with somebody else.